This is Ambazar's DIY and other stuff. My name is Amber Meeks. Today is Subscription Box Saturday. And on this video, I have for you a new subscription service to my channel anyways. And it is called We Blessings. So this is the thing, guys. I have a little story about this whole debacle that happened with this company. So I filled out all of the stuff just like you do for any stylist service. I've done a ton of these on my channel, and I told them this when I spoke to them on the phone. But I got a strange text message that claimed to be from this company, and I thought that I was getting scammed. But it said that, um, you know, first of all, welcome to We Blessing, da 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 da, and then it said that uh, we have put in place a new verification system and I didn't pass. I was like, what? I said, what? This has got to be a scam. So I called the number that was on the text message and I didn't hear back from them, but they did call me back. I did see that they did call me back and um, I missed the call because I'm a busy person, guys. Like I'm a hard person to get on the phone. Like if you text me and tell me you're going to call me, then I'll be ready for your call. But I mean, otherwise I will most likely not see the phone call and I'll call you back later. But if it's from a strange number as this was, I sometimes don't even listen to the voicemail. I'm just saying. So anyways, um, I, you know, thought, okay, that just must be a, somebody trying to scam me because they were saying that I didn't pass the verification process and that I would be required to put a $40 deposit down. So I was like, you're not getting my $40 scammer. I thought I was being scammed, right? So I, I looked in my account. They took out the $8 and I went on the We Blessing website and everything looked fine as far as my account goes. So I thought, okay, I was totally, somebody was trying to scam me and get 40 bucks from me, whatever. So then I see a credit um, in my account and it says that I got credited $8 from We Blessing and that they canceled my account. And I was like, what? I was like, what the heck is this? You know what I'm saying? I was so frustrated at this point. So I called, oh no, I didn't call the company back. Actually, what I did is I emailed them and I sent them a text message saying, listen, I don't understand why my account was closed. I got a strange text message that claimed to be from the company. I didn't think it was from the company, but it turned out that it was. And I thought that like I was getting scammed or whatever. I'm like, I really don't understand what's going on, but I do this like all the time. I don't understand. Like I've done so several Stylo services on this channel and I've never had a problem and I've never ever encountered anything like this. And first of all, like how did I fail the verification process? I was so incredibly confused, right? So the lady from We Blessing, um, I think she sent me a text message and asked if I had a minute to talk. I got the text message from them and I said, absolutely. So, you know, they called me and I spoke to her on the phone for quite a bit. She said it wouldn't take very long, but I'm just one of those people that like, I just don't understand why I didn't pass. You know what I'm saying? She says it could be anything. It could be that you didn't pay a bill. It could be that you have a bankruptcy. It could be that you have a chain, that your address dresses didn't match up, da, 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 da. She goes on and on and on and on. And I'm like, I just don't get it though. I mean, I feel like they need to get a new verification place because there is absolutely no reason why I shouldn't be approved because what that did was put a bad taste in my mouth for this company. And it made me feel like I was a bad person, you know, when I know that I'm not, I mean, of course I know that I'm not a bad person, but it just made me feel like a criminal, this whole process that they have in place. I understand why why they're doing it because it turned out they it turns out they have been scammed several times okay so they've been scammed several times so they put this whole process in place to protect themselves and I get it as a small business you have to do that like you would totally be out of business within months if you just kept sending out clothes and not getting anything in return for it I get it. I do. But I just feel like whatever company they're using for this process might have a flaw or something like that because I pay my bills. I'm just saying. My bills are all paid. I mean, I wouldn't be getting a wee blessings order if I couldn't afford to pay for my bills. And then... The only thing that I can think probably happened is that uh, my addresses may not have matched up. And the reason why is because I do have a P.O. box in Pennsylvania, but my physical address is in Ohio. So I can see why that might look a little suspicious to somebody that I have multiple addresses. And I can see why I would be flagged for that reason. But it just frustrated me so very much. But I sucked it up and I put the $40 deposit down. It wasn't about the $40, guys. It's just 
just about the principle of the matter, and that's what upset me about this whole situation. So um, I understand where the company's coming from, and I appreciate that they call people and try to explain what it is and how they need to protect themselves and so on and so forth. But they said that the company doesn't give them a reason why I was didn't pass their verification process. But now I have to put this $40 deposit down. And then they put in their little text message that it will count towards, you know, whatever I decide to purchase. And I'm like, what if I'm inside to purchase anything? Are you guys going to keep my $40 like forever until I decide to buy something? And they're like, no, 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 no. We'll refund you manually if you decide that you don't want to keep anything. I was like, okay. I said, you know what? Let's just go ahead and let's just do it. Everybody raves about this. Um, Pat from Bless GMP is the first person I saw do this. And um, that's what made me interested in this whole process. So I just was like, all right, you know what? Just go ahead. Just do it. Whatever. I said, but just know that I'm not happy about this whole thing. And I'm definitely going to share this with my audience on YouTube for the 10 people that might watch this video. <laughs> Just say it. So nonetheless, it did definitely put a bad taste in my mouth. But then I felt like if I didn't do this process, that they were looking at me as though I was a criminal. That's how I felt. I know that is probably not the case, but that's just how it made me feel. It made me feel like if I didn't go through with this and do their $40 deposit and prove to them that I am a good, honest person, that they would think that I was a criminal. And I don't know. I just felt some type of way about it. So I decided to do it. So without further ado, let's see what they sent to me. Okay, guys, so here's my little bundle. This is so super cute. They have my name on the front of it, and then they have their little sticker with their logo. This is adorable. So I definitely was very specific about my style in my profile. So if you guys do decide to do this, make sure you're as specific as possible, explaining what you like and what you don't like so that they hopefully send you things you will actually wear. I'm going to speed this up a little bit because that intro was way too long, but I just needed to vent about it because obviously I still have a bad taste in my mouth. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. Okay. So first thing is, well, this is kind of cute. This isn't bad. Okay. So we have this, um, it's like a plaid, um, sleeveless top, but it's looser fitting, which is what I asked for. So I don't know, this might be something I would wear. So we'll, we'll have to see how that goes. Um, I don't know about prices and all that kind of stuff. Should they put that on here? They have a retail price, but what's the Wee Blessings price? I don't know. So this next top, eh, I'm going to say this is probably a mess. I mean, yeah, that's just not. Because you are able to link your Pinterest pages and, like, Facebook, I think. And I did that. And I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, okay, what is this? Guys, I was very specific. I said I do not wear shorts. I don't wear shorts. I do wear rompers, but if it's a romper, I want pants as the romper. These are shorts. I won't wear this, guys. I may try it on for you, but I'll probably try it on um, with some, like, you know, tights or something. I'm just not comfortable wearing shorts. So, yeah, that's going back. Um, then we have this right here, which is just a pair of stretch pants. I mean... They already put a bad taste in my mouth, and then they send me a bundle that I'm not happy with. So it's just like this whole thing is just not meant to be. I do like this pencil skirt. This is super cute. I did say I like pencil skirts, so that's really cute. Um, how do you know how much this stuff is and how much you have to pay? I don't know because there's nothing in here. There's a return thing in here. Oh, here we go. Sorry I didn't open it up all the way. Oh, look how cute that is. Let me take this off of here. I'm sorry, guys. Look how cute that is. Little flip-flops. That's adorable. Okay. So it says, we wanted to send you a special note to say thank you for your for joining our family. We hope that you love the selections that your stylist chose. Now let the fashion show begin. Yeah. Well, it's not going to be a great fashion show, guys, because I don't like what they sent to me. All right. So let's open this up here. Let's just see what this says here. So you have 10 full days to try this stuff on and send it back or you buy everything. I'm just saying. So obviously you'll just put everything that you don't want in the return envelope that they've provided for you. Okay, so the True Craft Red Plaid Sleeveless Shirt, this one right here. Let's just do this now, guys. This here is $20. All right, and then the Crown Ivy Pink Sleeveless Shirt, 23 bucks. Yeah, that's going back. 
And then the floral bohe bohemian romper. It's only like 10 bucks. All right, I might keep this just for the simple fact that I might be able to turn this into something for myself because I like the print. So this is not ruled out just yet. At 10 bucks, there the retail price of that is $54. So then we have the um, Royal Blue Athletic Leggings, $35. Oh yeah, those are going back. I mean, I can try them on for you guys, but those are going back. And then the gray and white striped skirt is $28. I don't know that I like it that much, guys. We'll have to see. The only thing that I might keep is the thing that I thought was going back 100%. So we'll go ahead. We'll do a quick fashion show. I'll try this stuff on, and uh, we'll see if I'm actually going to keep anything. <laughs> Okay, guys, so we're going to start with this crown and ivy pink sleeveless shirt. And, ooh, do you like my socks? I'm just saying, they're pretty awesome, right? And this Jules and Leopold gray and white striped skirt. So the shirt is just a big no for me, guys. I just, I don't know. It, it kind of looks a little old lady to me. Yes, I know I'm approaching old lady, but I just don't want to dress like one. Now, the skirt, on the other hand, I am loving this skirt, guys. The fit was great. And this was a woman's size small, so I was really torn about the skirt. For $28, do I want it hmm I don't know excuse my voice guys as I'm still very sick right now and I just wanted to get this in so I went ahead and decided to record okay next we have the true craft red plaid sleeveless shirt with the I don't know Marika royal blue athletic leggings guys I don't I don't know I don't care for either one of these pieces first of all the shirt just looks like it's a little bit too short on me and I did you'll see here in a minute I did have to like clip it together because it just came too low and I don't like my stuff very low neck. So I have like a little clothespin thing on there and the leggings. I mean, they're okay. They're leggings guys, but $35 for leggings. I don't know. I just can't justify that. So I'm just not a fan of either one of these two pieces. Okay, and lastly, we have that teal floral print bohemian romper. Guys, I thought this was going to be a big time no because I just don't wear shorts and I told them that. But these come long enough where I feel like I can wear it. I have a little bruise on my leg. Awesome, which I always do. Nonetheless, these came long enough where I felt comfortable wearing this. So surprise, surprise, I'm probably going to keep this. Let's jump into final thoughts. Okay, guys, so I hate trying on clothes. You guys know that, but at least we got the try on out of the way, and I hope that you loved my slipper socks. <laughs> Nonetheless, um, let's start with this pink top here. I forgot to mention because I was just so, like, a bad taste in my mouth about everything that happened with this company. This is a crown and ivy top, and it is a petite medium is what they sent to me. Um, it's okay, but again, this one is, um, the retail price is $44.50, but for me to buy it from them is $23. And I still don't feel this top is worth $23. So it is going back. Now, I loved this pencil skirt. So Jules and Leopold, and it is a small petite um, skirt. This is cute. Oh, cute. I mean, I felt like I felt like it did my, you know, very unflattering body justice. I'm just saying. It really did. So this is, um, hold on. The retail price of it is $55. And for me to buy it from them, it's $28. Um, I still don't feel it's $28 worthy, even though it did make my body look, you know, better than it like actually is. So that's cool, but I just don't want to pay 28 bucks for it. So let's go ahead and move on to this. This is a true craft size medium top here, this plaid one. And uh, the retail price is $40 for me to buy it from them is $20 and I didn't like it. So that solves that problem. That's going back. Now let's go ahead and do the leggings here. Um, oh my. These were super comfortable and everything. They're a size large. Well, that makes me feel like, you know, not very good. Uh, Marika. Mar Marika. Okay. Let me just zoom in on the name there. Hopefully you guys are getting it. And this is a size large in these leggings. Um, the retail price is $65. Okay. And for me to buy it from them is $35. And there's no way, even though they were actually comfortable, that I would ever pay that for a legging because I would never wear it anywhere but around the house. And my around the house clothes come from like, I don't know, family dollar Gabe's for a couple of dollars each. There is no way I would pay $35 for something that I wouldn't wear out anywhere. I'm just saying. I'm cheap. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to this romper that I said was a, you know, a big time no. Um, it turned out to be probably a yes. Let's go ahead and tell you guys it's an Angie. It is a size medium. Okay, and I don't like to wear shorts, guys, because I don't like my legs. I think my legs are ugly. I just don't like anything about my legs. So I don't like to wear shorts. But this came down pretty long uh, for a short. So um, I had it, like, pinned at the top there. So that was kind of scrunching everything up. But if I had it open with a tank underneath it, it would be super cute. Like, everything would have flowed really nice and looked a lot better than it did on the try-on because I had it clipped in the front there. But um, the retail price of this romper is uh, $50. $54. But for me to buy it from them is only $9.99. And I love the print. And I actually really like this on me. I think it would be great in the summertime. So I'm actually going to keep this. Surprisingly so. Like I said, that was a, you know, big time no when I get, took it out of the bag. But, you know, after trying it on and realizing that it came a little bit longer for me, probably because I'm short, um, I actually quite liked it. So I'm definitely going to keep the romper. Um, everything else is going to go back. So I'm not sure how much it comes out with tax and all that fun stuff, but I'm sure I'll be able to check out on the website. I'm going to return everything else. And honestly, guys, I was not impressed with what they sent to me. Um, I have myself on a six month cycle with them. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing it. Maybe I'll let them do one more because um, with these style of services, it's best to give them at least a couple of tries before you cancel it because you got to give them a little bit more um, tries to learn your style, I guess is what I'm trying to spit out. So before I mess anything else up in this outro, I'm going to close it down. You guys know what I'm keeping, what I'm returning. If you guys want to try out Wee Blessings, I will link their... Um, website in the description box below. Thanks so much for taking the time to check this out and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye! My name is Amber Meeks. Today is subscription box Saturday and on this video I have a new subscription. A new. A new. <laughs> All right, try it again. Your hair's a freaking train wreck anyway. My name is Amber Meeks. Today's subscription box Saturday. And on this video, I have a different subscription for my channel. A new subscription, not different. New. Boop. All right, guys.